usually staying around like 167, every now and 68, and then this freaking last Friday I woke up almost 70 and I was pissed because I felt like I was dieting harder, I've been working harder, and then I look at my scale and it tells me I'm a fatty. And then uh, today I wake up and it says I'm 164.6, which uh, made me happy. And I'm fully hydrated. I've been eating, eating light, but I'm eating fully hydrated and uh, feel good about that. I think we're going to do a lot of uh, um, drilling live from certain uh, positions, whether it be against the fence or on the ground in bad positions. And then... Uh, body conditioning. It's a little bit different than uh, and like cardio conditioning. It's um, getting your body ready for impact, you know, so you're doing lots of leg kicks, kicks to the rib, punch into the uh, body, stomach, all that with gloves. And you just put your hands above your head and you do 30 seconds each and go back and forth for a while and just get your body ready for uh, a fight. Um, Shannon Slack, um, Olympic alternate, got RJ Clifford who's announcer slash professional fighter. He'll be fighting for um, I think a weekend after mine or two weekends after mine. Uh, Johnny Cisneros, Andrew Lang, um, Ozzy Alvedos. He's out of um, uh, CSW with Eric Polson and them. So I've got a few people coming down to help me out. Always, you know, someone getting ready for a fight and it's a little bit different now because now uh, now they got their teacher getting ready for a fight with them too, so it makes it interesting. We actually, we push each other along and help each other out. So we all know where we're at within the process and uh, they know I'm at the point where I'm just tired of training, tired of dieting. And it's like I got to sacrifice so much, especially because I got to go so far down in weight. And uh, it's funny to see like Quentin Jackson or Anthony Johnson. I mean, I know I'm sorry if you guys hear this, but it's just like, it's just sacrifice is all it is, you know? And these guys aren't willing to sacrifice. If you're gonna fight at that weight, that's part of your job, do it. You know, don't res disrespect the organization. Don't disrespect your fans. Don't disrespect your, um, granted it's contact sport and you're fighting. Don't dis disrespect your opponent. And uh, don't disrespect yourself, you know? <laughs> so I have a fan page, and I posted on all that stuff, and I got a lot of responses, as well as Twitter. But um, one of the responses came back from one of our, our homegrown here. <laughs> you know? Go ahead, tell them about yourself. Um, I train here at Lightning MMA Jokers MMA for the past two and a half years, and I'm also a cosmetologist, so he let me do the makeup today. <laughs> She'd beat me up if I didn't. <laughs> so it's kind of funny to have this, you know, we're all in-house, you know. It's kind of cool. Yeah. And then uh, Michelle can't be here, so uh, she sent some stuff down. and Because uh, I requested uh, some stuff for the shoot. Because uh, it's going to have a little bit land of uh, Joker and uh, Tricosta in it. And I designed it. I designed it. Good God, you know it's going to suck. <laughs> so no, I was on the computer today uh, throwing stuff together because we got to rush. It's only like, we got two and a half weeks till the fight. We still got to do the shoot, get everything in the, you know, designed, laid out, then printed, and then get out to everybody else. So got to rush it out. So I was on the computer today freaking slamming it. That's what made me good for all those years and then... Uh, you know, the way it was, those last couple of UFCs was not me, you know. I didn't have that focus, didn't have that drive, didn't have that fire. And now to have it all back, it's kind of cool, you know. I haven't been shaved like this for like over 10 years. <laughs> My mouth opened, huh? It's okay, for, it's okay. You can talk a little bit right now. Oh, it's kind of weird. It's like you're the dentist. <laughs>